So hey everybody and welcome back to another AZ Bytes, your bite-sized guide to all things Azure. I'm John, uh, John and I'm joined today by the ever-curious Ty and the always-on point Seema. How's it going team? Feeling alert John, did you like what I did there? Oh no, we are starting with puns already. <laughs> this is going to be a fun one. But seriously guys, this is a topic I have been itching to talk about. Yeah, that's right. And I guess, Seema, before we dive in, why don't you give yourself a quick introduction, if that's all right? Absolutely. So, guys, I'm Seema. I'm a Azure specialist, and I work with customers every day across high tech and build, so construction industry, who are trying to get a handle on their cloud operations or just control the environment. And let me tell you, <laughs> alerting is one of the most common pain points. That's why today's topic, AMBA, or Azure Monitor Baseline Alerts, it's such a big deal. Right, guys, let me try and paint the picture. You've got hundreds of resources in Azure and you want to monitor them all. But setting them up manually, I don't think so. Just think about it. It's like trying to handwrite every traffic sign in the city of London. Impossible. Exactly. And if you do have got them like set up already, either you are drowning in noise or missing the real issues. It's like having a smoke alarm go absolutely every time if you are making a toast or just an omelet, and it is it goes silent when there's an actual fire. I know that feeling, Seema. I've set off many a smoke alarm with my toast making skills, but uh, look, I guess that's where Amber comes in, right? It's like having that team of Azure engineers that are pre-configuring all of your alerts using best practices, right? Dynamic thresholds and smart detection. Absolutely. So. Let me let me talk about the real business value here. AMPA isn't just about alerts. It's about governance, automation, and operational excellence. And if I have to, you know, just break it down into, you know, all the three uh, important areas. So if I talk about governance, AMPA helps you enforce a consistent monitoring strategy across your entire Azure estate. No more alert chaos where every team is just doing their own thing. And if I have to talk about automation, you can deploy these alerts uh, at scale using either Azure Policy, Bicep, Terraform, ARM template. So that means no more clicking through portal 500 times. And in terms of operational excellence or operational maturity, with dynamic thresholds and intelligent baselines, you're not just reacting, you're proactively managing your environment. And you know what? That's some fantastic benefits there. But let's not forget about cost efficiencies. By reducing the false positives, you're saving time, reducing incident fatigue, and letting your engineers and operation teams actually focus on the real life problems. Yeah, that's great insights. Exactly that. And I guess plus it's a huge win for compliance, right? So if your business is in, you know, a regulated industry, um, having that standardized alerting baseline is really going to help you prove that you're monitoring the right things in the right way. Um, but I guess, Seema, what, what is Amber really? So just to summarize or, you know, just to give a little bit detail about what Amber is. So it's a collection of predefined alerts. Consider that there's a consultant sitting or there's a group of engineers helping you with your Azure monitor, which is built around Microsoft's best practices and recommendations. And these alerts cover things like your metrics, so your CPU utilization, your memory, your disk space, your input output, your logs, your activity logs, your service health uh, across your entire Azure estate. And they're designed to be modular and extensible. So what I mean by that is you can start with the baseline and customize from there. And guys, let's not forget, it's not just for generic resources. Amber includes specialized patterns for things like Azure Landing Zone, virtual desktops, VMware solutions, SAP on Azure. So John, can you help our viewers understand what, what a pattern's for? Yeah, I guess so. So so I guess, Ty, each pattern comes with a tailored set of alerts, like Seema's saying, that you can basically deploy in bulk. So whether you're running a cloud native app or a legacy SAP system, like you've just mentioned, Amber's got your back. Um, how how do we how do you think we get started with it, Seema? Getting started is easier than you would think. So just head over to official Ember site, and it's going to be mentioned in the chat. Uh, it's Azure.github.io, Azure Monitor Baseline Alerts, Amber. Choose the deployment model. So it could be Azure Policy, your ARM template, your Bicep, or your Terraform, whatever you're comfortable with. 
pick a pattern that matches your environment. So like Azure Landing Zone or SAP or a VMware solution. Deploy the alerts using the provider templates. Monitor, review, and tune as needed. Hey guys, and let's remember if you're using Terraform, there's also a dedicated module to make your life easier. So that's Terraform module for Amber, which is in the links below for our viewers. And, and speaking of links, Ty, as well, the FAQs are super helpful, right? So they cover everything from things like what if I've already got alerts in, implemented at the moment through to how do I customize those thresholds? Can you talk us through any kind of real world scenario, Seema? Absolutely. So let's take an example. You are an FSI sector. You are uh, running a mission critical application, which is running on Azure App Service along with your SQL database. With Amber, you can deploy alerts for your HTTP error rates, your response times, your DTO usage, your blocked queries. And because Amber uses dynamic thresholds, it learns what normal looks like for your app and only pings you when something is really, truly off. And you can, again, extend this to the best stop or customize it based on your requirement. Now, I absolutely love that. And that's what we call proactive monitoring done in the right way. No more 3 m calls for CPU spikes that resolves itself in 30 seconds, eh, John? Yeah, and I guess, Ty, if, you, if you're managing multiple subscriptions or tenants, you know, Amber's really going to help you scale your monitoring strategy without really having to reinvent that wheel every time. So, look, this all sounds great, Seema. Thank you so much, guys. I, I'm so happy that, you know, you are all in agreement. I love, you know, when we can, you know, when we can bring a topic which is really relevant for our customers and, and bringing it to life. So just to wrap it up, Amber is about doing more with less. So less noise, less manual work, less risk, more consistency, more insight and more control. And the best bit of all of it, it's free. Just plug it in and start getting value straight away. Yeah, absolutely. So everybody go and check it out. Try a pattern. Let us know how it goes. And if you've got any questions, the GitHub repo is super active or feel free. Drop us a drop us a question in the, in the chat below. So look, really, thank you, guys. That's it for this episode of AZ Bytes. If you have found this useful and helpful, please give us a like, subscribe to the channel and share it with your cloud crew. And team, remember, don't just monitor baseline. See you next time, guys, and stay alert. Cheers. Bye.